hey guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please do so we are hashtag on the road to 10k so um before i start i hope that the change of scenery is not much of a distraction especially with the big mirror behind me so you guys can see everything that's on that side of my bedroom i hope it's not much of a distraction um i realized that when i'm filming on that side um as you guys can see the flowers are there um when i film on that side the lighting is quite dark so when i'm filming right next to the window as you guys can see the video is much clearer and there's more light coming in from natural lighting as well as my ring light so i hope it's not much of a distraction um if it is please comment down below that i should rather go back to where i was filming i really hope you guys don't say that but if you guys are distracted by it then it's fine i'll move back and just find another so yeah guys i'm just gonna show you guys how i transformed this wig from the straight hair that it was to the body wave half up half down ponytail um that i have right now so if you guys are interested in seeing all of that please do stay tuned okay so as you guys can see this is the wig unit it is a 13 by 6 frontal and as you can see i've already cut the lace and plucked it and i just put a bit of foundation as well as powder on the wig and now i'm going to um, lay the wig using my got to be glue gel as you guys can see i'm putting the gel right before my hairline and not on my actual hairline because when you remove the wig um later on when you want to sleep or you just want to take it off you don't want your edges to go away with the wig so rather put it um right before your hairline than on your actual hairline so now that i've dried it and it's a bit tacky i am going to lay down the um wig <laughs> So now that the wig is laid down, I'm just going to take a wet wipe and remove the excess um, glue that you guys can see. And then I'm just going to take um, a stocking and I'm just going to tie it on top of the lace just to make sure that it is secured whilst I um, start styling the rest of the hair. Now, now, so as you guys can see this is straight hair it's a bit frizzy right now because um i wore it as body wave so now i'm just gonna comb it and then i'm going to start styling it Okay, so now I'm removing the stocking and um, that was securing the lace. And as you guys can see, the lace is secured. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to comb back the hairs that are stuck on the glue. And then I'm going to proceed with styling the wig. So when you're done removing those small hairs that were accidentally stuck on the wig, you want to take the same wet wipe and then just wipe off the excess glue that the hairs were stuck on just to make sure that everything is clean before you lay down your edges using your mousse. Um, I don't have the Blasting Feet Spray. Um, every time I go to this game, it's out of stock. So what I use to lay down my edges is my mousse. Oh. 
Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to use my spray bottle and spray water on the frontal um, just to make sure that when I am plucking the hair, the hair on the frontal is wet and it's sleeked back so I can see what I am doing properly. So I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to start plucking the hair. I'm not going to do that much plucking um, because I just prefer doing it on a mannequin head. But as you guys can see, when I'm plucking, I'm not necessarily plucking on the same place. I'm moving around with the tweezers. And you want the pointy side of your tweezers to be faced up and not faced down because that's just going to make holes on your lace and it will most probably hurt you so just make sure that when you pluck you are moving around and from front to back and sideways and you are not plucking in the same place because you will have bold spots if you do that <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just combing out the hairs that I just plucked. Um, I'm pretty much done plucking the hair. I don't want to pluck it too much um, simply because I'm doing this on my head and it's a bit tiring for me. I have short arms, so having to lift my arms and do all of this plucking on my head, it's quite tiring. So I'm just satisfied, satisfied rather with how the wig looks right now. Okay, so now as you guys can see, I'm starting to style the hair in the half up, half um, down ponytail style. And as you guys will see throughout the video, it is quite a struggle. Um, it's not as easy as it looks in the end. So I didn't want to fast forward this part too much because I wanted you guys to see what a struggle it actually is. And it's not as glamorous as it looks. You actually struggle to get the hair to be what it is so i don't want to mislead you guys mislead you guys and make it seem like it's easy it's really not it's not that difficult either but it takes a lot of work and you just need to be patient and um just make sure that you do it properly and it'll work out in the end <laughs> So now that I've finally been able to manage um, to hold all the hairs that I'm going to tie up, I'm just going to spray it with water just to make sure the part I'm tying up is sleek and then I'm going to follow that up with um, my ORS um, wrap and set mousse. 
from ORS and then I'm just going to put that at the front and then just um, spread it with my hands and then follow up with a brush before I actually tie it with a hair tie. <laughs> Okay, so now that I finally tied the hair, I'm just going to start um, doing the curls for the body wave on the lower part of the hair and then I'll move on to do the top part of the hair that is tied up. But before that, I'm just going to take out a few hairs and I'm going to cut them just to um, create some baby hairs since the baby hairs that came with the wig were cut off. Um, on the lace because they were just too far apart for me from the hairline of the hair so I just cut them off and then I'm just going to take pieces of the hair and just cut them as well as um, do the baby hairs using my mousse like I said I don't have the blossom free spray so this method works for me as well if you don't have an eco styling gel or the blasting free spray from got to be then you can use the mousse and then just put a um duke or a hair tie um like i will to just make sure that they are laid down and set So as you guys can see, I'm laying down my edges. Um, like I said, I don't really like the big waves. So I'm just trying to make the edges look and seem as natural as possible. I don't want it to be super long hairs. As you can see, I'm removing the long hairs and just making sure that the edges look as natural as possible. I know that they're not perfect, but I mean, I am still new to this and I'm still learning along um as i go so the more i practice the better that um everything will be the next time so yeah
Okay, so when you are curling your hair, you want to section it into smaller pieces and curl it by smaller pieces and not um, big chunks of hair um, because you want the body wave to be a bit more defined. So you'll just curl it into smaller strands of hair. And um, I'm just going to fast forward this part so that you guys can see how the curls turn out. In the dark is not Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to take a piece of the hair and tie it around the hair, hair tie rather just to cover that up and secure it with a bobby pin. And then I'm going to proceed to curl the hair on the ponytail. Um, so I'm just going to fast forward that part because I did show you guys how I curl the hair. <music>
so now that everything is done i'm just going to take some concealer i'm using my wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade dark cocoa and then i'm just going to apply that using a small um, concealer brush and then follow that up with a damp beauty sponge just to make sure that it is blended in properly and then i'll be set to go I'm done with that i'm just going to take a wet wipe once again and just wipe off any dirt that is on the edges like you guys can see there's a piece of um, glue there and just any excess um, concealer that i didn't apply properly and then i'm just going to run my fingers through the curls um, just to make them a bit bigger and then follow that up with a white tooth comb and that's basically it you guys um that is how i achieved this hairstyle <music> from modern show hair um they are an aliexpress vendor but they also have their own website i'll leave everything down in the description box as well as a discount code that you guys can use if you would like to purchase this hair or any other hair from their website so um they sent me this 22 inch um it looks longer than 22 inches to me but they sent me this 22 inch brazilian straight hair as you guys saw in the beginning of the video the hair was a bit frizzy but you could tell that it's straight hair and um when the wig came it wasn't plucked so i plucked it myself um and it is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig um so far so good i've been wearing this hair for about three weeks now if i'm not mistaken um i have posted a picture of it uh, where i have posted a picture wearing it um exactly how it came it's on my instagram i'll link the picture down below so that you guys can see what exactly the wig looked like when it came and um you just have to do a little bit of work on the frontal otherwise so far so good i've been wearing this hair for a couple of weeks now um it doesn't shed much it's straight hair so it won't shed that much um it keeps this curl pattern a bit longer because i've had this hairstyle over the weekend and then um as you guys saw even though it was frizzy but you guys could still tell the body wave situation was still there um the lace the lace wasn't bleached um i also haven't bleached it i just put a bit of foundation as well as powder on it as you guys can still see you can see the black knots so it'll be so much better when it's bleached <laughs> excuse me guys so like i was saying it'll be so much better when it's bleached um i'm quite impressed with the quality of this hair from this company it's my first time working with them and um the only thing i can say disappointed me with this company is the packaging i was extremely disappointed when it came because i didn't know number one where this wig came from i had another wig delivery at that time when we received this hair so when it came i was like okay i don't even know where this hair is from because inside the um dhl packaging i found this as you can see there's absolutely no branding there's whatever you can't tell where this hair is from even though it's good quality hair but i mean the first impression is the packaging that it comes in how are you marketing your business to me or and as well as my subscribers in this kind of packaging like i don't even know where it's from the box is creased um 
some of the leaflets of the box if i can call it that are broken and i didn't know where the hair is from until i had to go through my emails and search what kind of hair they were sending me as well as the tag that was attached you know when you buy hair there's usually a tag attached that says brazilian hair straight hair 22 inches or whatever the tag that they they attached to the hair it didn't have the company's name it just said straight 22 inches so I also didn't know where the hair's from so i think if it, if they can just improve their packaging i know that they need to spend money on that but i mean this box isn't bad besides the creasing and i'm sure the creasing happened in customs when they throw the packages around um and it's not necessarily the company's fault but i mean just to put a bit of branding on here that says modern show hair so that i can know where this hair is coming from that would be nice so yeah guys besides that i really really love this hair i think i'm gonna keep it for long um keep it in this style um i would suggest to you guys to buy straight hair if you would like this kind of body wave texture and then just do a body wave texture using a curling wand like i did i got this for like 200 rand at clicks it's from the brand platinum so rather than buying body wave because the thing with body wave is when you buy body wave hair after you wash it a couple of times the body wave texture isn't there it's almost like a straight but frizzy texture so rather buy straight hair that you know you can straighten and you can curl at the same time so it's versatile in that manner so yeah guys but this is basically how i styled this hair um it's not easy as you guys saw in the video it's not easy i know that some youtubers when they do these kind of videos they fast forward and you're just like oh my word can we pause i just want to finish this and then i move on to the next step so i just thought that i would do the video much longer for you guys so that you can guys see this step by step um it's not easy um i didn't just wake up and be able to do this myself as you guys would see like the progress from my very first hair video up until this one um you learn as you go so just give yourself some time practice more and yeah as you guys can see like for example the edges on this was um i don't want those big waves because i mean that's unrealistic for me because that's not how my baby hairs look um on my natural hair so i wouldn't want big waves that are not natural looking to me so i think i'm just fine with this kind of baby hair laying of baby hairs um i think this does it for me so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it um i will leave the giveaway winner of my previous giveaway in the video and please don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe to my channel next month on the 7th of march this channel turns a year old so i'm hoping by then that would we would be on hashtag 10k so thank you for so much for watching this video guys and i will see you in my next one